Right, here we go. Right, look at this. <coughs> right, so we're going to start off with the ginger shot, which is about three centimetre chunk of ginger and a golden delicious apple. So we'll put like, these in first. Two like that. Turn the juice on. Can you see that, Kayla? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't want to be over the other sides. Try it. Do you reckon it's up there? Yeah. Is it focusing okay? Yep. Yeah. Right, turn the juice on. Okay. Just let it ooze out a little bit first, get all of it out, get two shot glasses, there we go, just let a little bit strip out. Put a cup there to catch the rest of the drips, and then this is enough for two shots. So you just get two shot glasses and fill it up. Go. Right, there you go. Mama, this is yours. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the drinking of it, so it's got a bit of a kick to it. There we go. Down in one, no messing around, like the juice master says. Mm, it's really delicious, it's got a bit of a real sort of kick. Kick, yeah. And you're left feeling burning afterwards. But it's, it's like having, if you enjoy a nice hot curry, you'll really enjoy this because it gives you the same endorphin rush as what you get from that. So it's all good. Well, you can do your one, right? Yeah, don't feel me. You don't want to be filmed? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what I'm doing next. Oh, lovely. Right, I'll pass the camera back over to you. Oh, don't. Oh, don't hold the lens. I'm not holding the lens. Right. 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 Okay. Right. So now we're going to do the Turbo Express. We'll always start off with two apples and a pineapple. So I'll put apple in first. What's good about these juices is you don't have to worry about chopping up the pineapple too much. You can just, well, basically keep all the skin on. You don't have to take the tops off, just keep the skin on and the juicer will deal with all of it. So let's chuck it in like that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
See, we've got, we've got it and get quite a lot of liquid out of that. Now, two, two apples, a, part, a, bit, a quarter of a pineapple and some lime. So you get about that much. <coughs> Which isn't too bad. Right, I'm now going to put the rest in. This juice comes with two settings. So for the, for the harder fruits, like the apples and the pineapples, you use the use the faster set the the was it set in two and this is for softer stuff like cucumber celery and spinach leaves so let's put these in now Through. You don't get a huge amount of juice from the spinach um, leaves. I think the, the masticating juices, the ones that do it slowly, you get more out of it. And also, I think the new fusion juice that's come out, you get more out of it than that as well, but you, you still get enough. You get more than enough. So. Right, there we go. Okay, probably the most time consuming bit out of all of it is the cleaning of it. I mean, it's still pretty easy to clean compared to other stuff, but um, it probably takes, to make the whole of my juice, it probably takes about half an hour from starting to cut it up to cleaning all of the stuff because you need the juicer and you need the food processor as well, which I'll use in a minute for the avocado. So we're going to go over there and do that now. So the food processor. So there you go. That's the liquid you got there, and because juices can't deal with stop really starchy stuff, um, and avocado is too thick to put in there, so you need either a blender or a food processor. So here we go. I've got my, got my avocado here. This is quite a small one. Normally, if you've got if you get the big ones, then half would be enough. Because this one's quite small, I use a whole avocado, and it's probably a little bit past ripeness, but that. Our food processor doesn't deal with ripe avocados that well. It tends to leave them chunky. So I need to get a decent blender really because food processor doesn't quite do it. So let's scoop it out. Is it all around? Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm.
should be enough. And that's ready to go. Let's get my glass. There's my Thatcher's Pint Glass, which I obtained from the local pub. <laughs> Decided to have a better life here, actually making smoothies rather than having cider pints and that. So, there we go. As you'll see, one of the, one of the problems with using the food processor instead of a blender is the avocado, you still get bits come out. If you had a decent blender, then basically the, there'd be no bits. You'd just get nice smooth liquids. But it doesn't quite do the job on the avocado. There we go. Show you that. Now I get over a pint's worth, there's still some left, so I'll drink a bit and... And there you've got it. That's what you get. And that's charged full of vitamins, it leaves you feeling absolutely energised and vibrant and full of energy afterwards, so... It's absolutely amazing, you just feel like you've got energy to take on the day, and yeah. It's good stuff, it's nature's medicine, and... You know, forget drugs, forget all of this sort of stuff. If you want to sort yourself out, if you want to lose weight, if you want to feel better about yourself, about life, get on this, because this thing helps you burn fat but nothing else. So it really is, um, forget all these slim fast things like that. Just, all you need is what nature provides. Apples, vegetables, cucumber, and you know, that's it basically. You don't need all this other fad stuff. It's just, this gets it all into you liquid liquid fuel is easy for your body to digest and yeah it leaves you feeling great and helps you lose weight so yeah i'd highly recommend it okay <laughs> oh, i don't know oh, press that on there. Huh? yeah oh you did <laughs>